Good morning, I'm Chief Superintendent Farouk Hussain and I'm delighted to be opening the first of five webinars that will be delivered over the course of the week, particularly when it's a topic so close to my heart. You've just heard from Sam, who featured in a recent disability hate crime campaign, Don't Tolerate Hate. And I want to be clear from the very onset that nobody in Ayrshire should tolerate this type of behaviour. For understandable reasons, we're unable to gather together physically today, but I want to make it clear that by meeting virtually, in no way diminishes the commitment in Ayrshire to address hate crime or our determination to support victims, and in no way weakens our passion to work with partners across Ayrshire to raise awareness. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to today's organisers for making this webinar possible. I'd also like to ex extend a very warm virtual welcome to you all. If you'll indulge me, I would like to set you all three challenges for the day. Firstly, to fully engage. Whilst we cannot be together in person, we can use the technology that we have available to ask questions, share ideas and offer feedback. Secondly, please take part. If you're at home in the, or, or in the office, leave your inhibitions at the door and get involved. And finally, and most importantly, enjoy the day. I appreciate the majority of the public might not fully understand the police rank structure and I thought it might be useful to briefly explain my role. I'm the Divisional Commander for Ayrshire Division and I'm accountable for policing in the North, East and South Ayrshire, serving a population of just under 370,000 across 1,321 square miles, from Skermley in the North, Ballantrae in the South to the island communities of Arran and Cumbria. I'm one of 13 divisional commanders who report to the Chief Constable, who is our most senior officer and is ultimately responsible for policing across Scotland. It's worth noting that I'm the only BAME divisional commander. Some of you may not recognise the word BAME, which stands for Black Asian Minority Ethnic. I also happen to be the first Scottish BAME officer to have risen through the ranks in Scotland, from constable to chief superintendent, and by breaking the Raised glass ceiling certainly brings its own additional responsibilities. My lived experiences of being a victim of hate incidents gives me a true insight into the ripple effect it can have in your life, whether that be in a work setting, at home or at a social event with friends. I'm exceptionally fortunate to work alongside and lead 800 officers and staff across Ayrshire who are determined to provide the very best quality of service to every victim and as an Ayrshire resident, I would not expect anything less. I recently read an article by Andrew Tickle, a lecturer at Caledonia University, who asked us to consider this. If you're racially abused on a routine basis at work, who could blame you for deciding to pack it in? If churches or synagogues are trashed or graffitied with hateful slogans, it's a message to every worshipper that their beliefs are not to be tolerated. If a same-sex couple is abused in public because they have the audacity to hold hands, they are never the only victims of the treatment directed to them. Disabled people, trans people, you can go on and on. He says routine intimidation and harassment creates a social deep freeze as people censor themselves, adopt avoidance strategies and live their lives constantly exposed to how they're perceived and the potential prejudices of those perceiving them. You may have not experienced this in your life, but talk to people who are constantly on the receiving end of this kind of social treatment and you'll come to appreciate that these challenges exist. The lived realities of sexism, homophobia, religious bigotry, etc. continue to structure how thousands of us experience our daily lives. So we have a choice. We can be bystanders to this issue or we can come together to address these matters. And this is exactly what the Ayrshire Equality Partnership has done. It's a multi-agency partnership aimed to support the promotion of quality and diversity, including the encouragement of good relations across all protected characteristic groups in Ayrshire. My colleagues and I have important roles to play in responding to hate incidents and crimes. By doing our job efficiently and carefully, we the police can reinforce Ayrshire Equality Partnership's zero tolerance message. Our response to hate crime is a serious one and we rightly make a significant effort investment in our time and effort to tackle it. Every single hate crime incident is reviewed by a senior officer, usually at the rank of Chief Inspector, and my leadership team are briefed on incidents taking place across Ayrshire. I urge anyone with concerns for themselves, their families or their neighbours to please report the incident 
whether you think it's a crime or not. No matter how trivial or unimportant you may feel it is, your complaint will be recorded and taken seriously by my team here in Ayrshire. There are various ways that you can report matters of concern. You can call us on 101 or you can use the website to report matters to. If you feel more comfortable, you can use a third party reporting centre such as Ayrshire College, Bernardo's, Victim Support and Ayrshire LGBT Online to name a few. You could also use Crime Stoppers website or call them on 0800 555 one where they'll guarantee your an anonymity. By reporting these incidents, support and advice can be provided to the victim. It could also stop the perpetrator from offending again. All reports help build a picture of hate crime in Ayrshire and allow me and the partnership to understand if there's a problem in a particular neighbourhood or section of the community that's been targeted, which will in turn allow us to tackle the problem. Also by reporting the matter, it may prevent minor situation developing into a more serious one. Prejudice threatens community cohesion and has a corrosive impact on Scottish communities. And as Edmund Buck said, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good people to do nothing. Earlier this year, we launched a survey, Your Police 2021, which asked communities across the country to tell us their opinions about the policing response to the coronavirus within their division. It also includes questions on the public confidence in the police and the perception in crime in the local areas. Our survey is the largest of its kind in the UK to involve the public in the conversation about policing and the coronavirus. Tens of thousands of responses have been received so far, which are reviewed on a weekly basis, helping us to respond to emerging issues and help shape approaches to policing in Asia. During these challenging times and beyond, I would strongly urge you to make the time now to give us your views and opinions as your feedback will ensure our approaches to policing are relevant and supporting the communities we serve. We have maintained strong levels of public confidence in Scottish policing over the past few months and we value the strong relationships that we have and with our local Ayrshire communities. The survey takes no longer than 10 minutes to complete so in the time that it takes you to have a cup of tea you can play a crucial role in shaping our services in Ayrshire Division and beyond. A link to the survey will be sent to you by today's organisers, which I hope you'll complete. I'd like to wish you all the very best for the remaining web webinars, which I'm sure will live up to your expectations. Hopefully I've provided you with sufficient reassurance that Police Scotland take hate crime very seriously. And should you have any concerns, please call 101 or if in an emergency 999. I look forward to hearing how the week progresses and take care and thank you.